What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and here on this YouTube channel, my wife and I go to thrift stores, yard sales, and flea markets to buy things to sell on eBay. Whenever we are shopping for items to sell on eBay, I'm always on the lookout for new or used video games or video game accessories because they sell super fast. And while I do look for them constantly, I'm certainly not the master. So today I invited in my opinion, one of the great masters of selling new and used video games online, and that is Caleb Phoenix. Too kind. Too kind. Look at him. Look at him. That guy, he's a video game selling maniac. Today we're going to head to some pawn shops and used video game stores and pretty much anywhere else that we could possibly find some good deals on some new or used video games. So stick around. So we were actually on the way to a pawn shop today. We've actually already stopped at the Goodwill Bins. I took Caleb there to let him experience that. In today's video, Usually when I collab with somebody, we both film at the same locations and then you watch their video and you watch my video and it's pretty similar. You get to see kind of the same thing. So today we want to change that up a little bit and we are filming entirely separate at, at, at entirely separate locations. Like we went to the Goodwill Bins, only Caleb filmed there. We found some really good stuff. So I'm super excited for you guys to see that on Don't his channel. Uh, and then today or now we're headed into this, uh, it's like a used record store use record yeah, I mean, total wild card I, just, yeah. I literally saw it on the side of the street i, I didn't even know it was here in our searches either no they have uh but they have some yeah great movies posters. comics games maybe we can... games so we're crossing our fingers yeah there's some mario posters over there let's see let's see what's in here oh yeah uh, here we are hey, hey what's up you? man appreciate it we're looking looking for looking for looking cool for games stuff today yeah. Caleb said he found something. Okay, so they have a Saturn up there for a hundred bucks, which is a pretty good price for a Saturn. They said it had a couple controllers and stuff. So I decided to look it up, and this is uh, the lowest FBA listing right now. So to me, that's pretty solid. Uh, some solid wiggle room there. So I'm gonna go see, take a look at it, and. Uh, hopefully buy it. Let's look at um, this Saturn up here. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> cool. So yeah, this is in solid shape. Looks like. Looks new. I think I will go ahead and go ahead and do that. Sure. I'll look at the games and stuff too. Okay. What's up? Okay, so we're making our way to the back of the store where he said a lot of the disc-based games are, which is great for me because that makes them a lot easier to scan. I don't know if you caught it when we were up there, but one line that I'll say sometimes is, hey, do you mind if I check a price here real quick? People will ask a lot of the time, is it really awkward like you go into game stores and you're scanning stuff? Like, I think people, I think it's very common that people will check prices online to make sure that they're getting decent deals on stuff. Um, so I really don't get a whole lot of mean looks or anything like that but I wanted to say one of the things that catches my eye over here is new in box Skylander stuff I haven't scanned either of these or anything but it usually is worth scanning oftentimes they don't sell all that well in store um, so I'll break out the old by the way this is the Amazon seller app that I use video games sell really well on Amazon so that's why I mostly sell them there I'll scan the app looks like this one in used condition it's only going for like eight bucks <clears throat> and you can see here it's 24 new condition going for 32 but that doesn't that doesn't leave us any room for profit uh, but these are nonetheless items that I have often found will be underpriced you can see this literally has cobwebs on it it's been here for a while they don't sell super fast for game stores but sometimes they have decent value yeah we'll be leaving that one too I see a lot of controllers some of these controllers I know like especially the themed ones like uh -huh. The Zelda Wii controller and like the little regular Wii controller that's... Yeah, the Yoshi one catches my eye more. The, the uh, wired ones on the Wii don't tend to go for as much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm mistaken on that one. Um, these. Uh, PlayStation 3 uh, cameras and especially PS4 cameras right now mm -hmm. uh, are actually doing pretty well. I'll find them oftentimes, the PS3 ones, for like a couple bucks. This one's 14 so I'll pass on it, but you can get around like... 12 or 13 dollars on Amazon after fees, so those are normally a decent item. But let's make our way back to the disc section. Uh, okay. I know to look for NCAA 2014. There you go, there's a big one. And that's it. Yeah, so we've got really all kinds of systems back here. Nice little, nice little corner. This is the kind of place I would just plop myself down yeah. and just scan through all kinds of stuff. Basically anything that I don't recognize, I'll just pull off the shelf, scan it real quick, because a lot of these games 
have been going up in value a lot recently, which often means you'll be able to jump onto that trend before the game store really catches on, because a lot of these have been sitting on the shelf for months, right? Yeah. If not years. Yeah. So Caleb and I have both been like scanning uh, games on Amazon for a while now, and unfortunately we haven't really found anything that's uh, profitable uh, yeah. other than the Sega Saturn, which is really it's gonna be a solid point. it's really profitable <laughs> this way uh we'll, we'll look around a few more minutes and then uh see if we can find something else to add to that saturn so unfortunately all we found in that store was a sega saturn but it was like 109 dollars yeah 106 after tax 106 Which so after for a saturn in this condition is just a really good price yeah for sure so after it sells on Amazon for like 260 or something, but like yeah. of course there's Amazon fees like and all that. 230 or something like that after fees. And the thing is with selling on Amazon, shipping is going to be negligible because not only do they have really good negotiated rates, but I'm going to be sending this into their warehouse with a ton of other items, and I'll send a whole like 40 pound box of stuff for like 10 bucks. Yeah. So I mean I'm going to pay maybe 50 cents or a dollar to ship this thing. Uh, maybe 30 to 50 in fees mm -hmm. uh, and at least double my money on it. So I was really surprised, honestly, with the with the pricing on the rest of the stuff in there. I was surprised that this went for that kind of money, but yeah. I'll slip, take it. Slip through the cracks. Yep. All right, we're at another pawn shop here. This place does have a lot of video games and hopefully the pawn shops will be more willing to uh, let us negotiate prices than that last store. Oh yeah, it used to be on this wall. You guys changed a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did. Okay, I see some. Is it still owned by the lady? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Down over here. A lot of copyright music in here, so we might have to voice over, but. Hi, puppy. No. Look at that tail. <laughs> All right, you gotta talk loud so the copyright music does All right, yep, so uh, this little move controller was five. This guy was three. He did a bundle deal for us for six, uh, so not too bad. And so as, as, as Kayla was checking out. I just was looking in this little goodie box up here and I found this little Bose remote. That's pretty cool. I think it might might work yeah. for us. RC9A. How much was it? Two bucks? Yep. Cool. Thanks, Caleb. Oh, yeah. Hey. And thanks to you guys. <laughs> oh. So we got in the car and Caleb's like, why'd you get that dumb remote? Like, that is not what I said. I said, what's the story? I said, what's the story on there? I it was your it was tone. It I knew was... it was good. <laughs> okay. It's good. So so obviously, if you guys don't know, Bose remotes. Anytime you see a remote that says Bose on it, definitely look it up. This is uh, model RC9A. The battery compartment is clean. That's the first thing I checked. Uh, and then sold comps on eBay multiple there's 12 sold 69 plus shipping 54 free shipping 69 plus shipping 69 plus shipping 34 free shipping that's somebody who didn't look up sold comps amazing so yeah that's we paid two dollars for this uh and this should sell you know like i said 50 60 bucks plus shipping could have gotten it for a dollar honestly probably yeah caleb's and like then, would you guys take a couple bucks i'm yep. like dude just give a dollar and get out of here <laughs> and then these actually are a little bit better than i thought so the reason that i picked up this one Marked at $3, it's still sealed. Because this isn't like a highly collectible game, even though there's a little bit of a break in the seal up here, I'll still sell this as new on Amazon. I'll clean it up a little bit, it'll look just fine. Um, so we'll say like three bucks a piece on this. And uh, this one was going for like $25 on Amazon. So after fees, maybe like 18. So that was a great flip. And then this one actually after fees is going for like 19 bucks, which is more than I honestly expected. Uh, so three bucks for that is not bad at all. So I didn't originally film this location since we're splitting it up in today's video, but we came into this store in West Columbia, South Carolina called The Games Block. It's on, what is this, Meeting Street? Meeting Street, Meeting Street in West Columbia. And uh, we've been in here, I don't know, like 30 minutes or so talking to the owners and everything. And uh, they're just awesome people. They've got a great selection of games here. Uh, hopefully they'll give me a deal on this uh, box of Shining Fates Pokemon cards. I just wanted to open some more Pokemon cards recently. And if I can you know, support a small local business and buy stuff from them, uh, I will do that. I'm maybe also interested in this uh, Gibson Les Paul guitar down here. Those sell super fast. Um, but yeah, I just want to give these guys a shout out. Awesome, awesome people. Awesome video game store. Awesome YouTuber right there. I was just whispering over here to the audience as you were filming the thing. All right, folks. So had a really solid haul from the games block here in, are we in Columbia? Uh, yeah, West Columbia, technically. West Columbia, South Carolina. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up and why. So I'm about to bust open this pack of Pokemon cards right here. And I want to show you guys, this is the card that we're looking for. This is the Charizard. VMAX. Uh, I haven't looked up soul comps on this card in a while, but I will put that on the screen right there. And uh, that's what we're looking for. There should be 10 packs of sealed Pokemon cards in here. So let's get them opened up. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh. Oh, oh. I think that's one of the best ones you I can really, get, dude. I really do think that. Dude. That was right at the back of the catalog that we were looking at earlier. I think okay, that's. Let's look it up. You let's got to. Up. Oh my goodness. Did it come with sleeves? You got to sleeve that. I do. I do. There's Are they in here? Sleeves somewhere. 289 sold. Ah. I mean, there's one that sold in the United Kingdom, $18.99 plus $30 in shipping. There's three of them that sold for $44. Huh. So, I, so I don't probably know. like a ten to twenty dollar card, more yeah. like. Well, there's a there's a graded one, it sold for a, a hundred bucks, best offer. <laughs> Shinks. Oh, more Pico. Hey, than that. look at that! I've sold this card before. Man, I've, is it just me or have these pulls been like really good? What'd you sell it for? I think it sold for like twenty one dollars. Really? Free, it was free shipping, but it was more like, than Eternatus V. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I mean, it it did sell like four or five months ago, so maybe the prices sure have, have changed. But I I have definitely sold this exact card. Before. Nice, dude. Yeah. Not too bad. It was some sixty five dollars on the box. Had fun. Had this, so this much fun. fun. So much fun. You can't find Charizards in every box. I'm happy with these pools. No uh, no shame here. So we probably went to a total of six or seven different locations today, but as I was saying earlier, we wanted to film separately. We didn't want both of our videos to be like the same thing. So the places that we went in my video are gonna be completely different than the places in Caleb's video. So definitely go check out his channel. This linked in the description down below and check out the video that he made from his perspective. Cause I found a couple cool things at places that we went in his video. He found some good stuff in my video that you won't see on his channel. So it's important you guys watch both videos but i do want to show you like i guess a summary of the haul that he picked up today just to give yeah. you an idea of the things that he's able to sell on amazon yeah so i'm gonna pull up my amazon seller app here just so i can remind myself 100 percent of what this is worth but this was a really solid find from today brand new xbox one lego dimensions starter kit uh and the barcode is right down here i'll scan it on my app it'll bring up the listing and yeah, it looks like the lowest listed of this in used condition, which I still haven't decided if I'm going to sell it used or new, uh, is $73. So it'd be more like 50 after fees. But in brand new condition, the lowest is 170 So wow. we're looking at like $150 for this in new condition, which is just really kind of crazy. Yeah. Got a ton of games. I'll just kind of go through these rapid fire. Uh, Pac-Man on the PS3. Lots of PS3 stuff has been spiked recently. Uh, guitar Hero Bundle. This has the dongle inside and we've got the guitar back there. Another PS3 game, Need for Speed. We've got a couple brand new sealed Minecrafts. We've got another Skylanders game. Time Crisis, another PS3. We picked up a couple of Game Boys as well today. I really like handhelds because they're easy to list, pack, ship, easy to test too. You don't have to hook them up and yeah. deal with a bunch of cables. They're really nice. Trap Team, another Skylanders, some figures. Then of course that uh, iconic system that we managed to pick up for a hundred bucks with one uh, name brand controller and all the hookups and everything. And then a sealed rock band. So one trend that you may notice in my sourcing is I love looking for sealed stuff, even if it's not all that old, because oftentimes it just sells a lot better, disproportionately better on Amazon. And usually it'll be underpriced. So, so that's something important for the viewers to remember is that you sell probably 90, 95% of your video games on Amazon. And yep. generally you can sell your used and new video games on Amazon for far more than eBay. So yeah. what is some steps somebody could take to eventually get ungated to sell video games on Amazon? Cause when you start out, basically all you can sell is used books. Yeah. That's one of the most common questions that I get because when you start selling on Amazon, you will be what's called gated which means when you bring the listing up, it'll tell you you're not actually allowed to sell this. And when you try to list it, it'll tell you the same thing. Uh, and what you have to do is essentially go to one of Amazon's authorized distributors for any of these brands, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and you have to buy at least 10 units from them. In order to do that, you have to get an LLC uh, so that they will actually accept you as a customer. You get the invoice for the at least 10 units and then submit that to Amazon in order to get approved to sell that brand. I've got a, a whole video detailing the process on my channel because it is the most common question that I get. So that's under my resale guides playlist if you guys are interested in that process specifically. But that does give you a significant competitive edge over a lot of other people who haven't been able to or aren't willing to go through the ungating process yeah. to sell on Amazon. It makes it a somewhat less competitive marketplace for sellers because there are just that many more hoops that you have to jump through. So there's 
that's a big reason why there I think is more opportunity it, it's there. It's so worth it if you want to sell stuff like this because like just the Game Boys, like those Game Boys on eBay are probably mm -hmm. worth like about know. what I paid. Yeah, probably about. And a lot, a lot of the used video game stores are basing their prices on eBay prices. Exactly. And they're not checking Amazon. Yeah. Because they probably don't want to mess with like getting ungated to sell on Amazon. Yeah, exactly. And if they price competitive with Amazon, it would seem like all their inventory is really overpriced because people can get it a lot cheaper on eBay. So yeah. um, there definitely is a lot of opportunity that way, especially stuff like uh, 3DS consoles right now are super spiked. New 3DS XLs and stuff like that. I can get usually like 200 bucks after fees. And oftentimes I'll find them for like 100 or 120 mm -hmm. at pawn shops and stuff. So that's another really good thing to look for. Couldn't find any today. Uh, but yeah, Amazon is huge for video game sellers. If you kind of have like a miscellaneous yard sale store, may not be worth all the hoops that you have to jump through. But if you want to focus on video games, I really highly recommend Amazon. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought this was something a little different than what you guys normally see on the channel. So if you did enjoy it at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. Again, be sure to head over to Caleb's channel to check out his version of this video, as well as that video explaining how to get ungated on Amazon. I do think, I, I agree with you completely that if you're finding you know, video games or like new sealed electronics, you'd be really surprised about the price difference that you could get on Amazon versus eBay. I found multiple yeah, items that even like a sealed, I found a sealed CD player the other day. Uh -huh. it, it was like eight bucks at Goodwill on eBay. It was selling for 20 to 25 plus shipping, but on Amazon it was selling for like 125. So after fees, you're still making like a hundred dollars in profit. So it's definitely worth it. If you're a full-time reseller, if you want to make reselling a big part of your life, definitely look into getting involved in Amazon and going through some of these processes to get ungated. But anyway, huge shout out to Caleb for coming all the way down here to hang out with me today. Again, go check out his channel. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.